Hello. It is the middle of October and it's possibly a little past time of getting some garlic in the ground. Um, so I'm sitting out here. I've got three different kinds of garlic. One kind, I actually don't know what it is because we've been planting it so long. Um, we've got a spicy garlic and we've got elephant garlic, which I guess actually isn't garlic, but we're going to get those in the ground.
evening. It's a gorgeous, getting chilly fall evening. Um, I'm planting some arugula. This seed is from 2020. Um, and it germinated well for a couple years. It germinated this spring. But I've planted it a couple times this fall. And I don't think... <laughs> I'm getting any germination. So I'm going to come in to this bed that I tried to plant really sparingly because I wanted to like space it out and give the arugula plenty of room to grow. And I'm just going to plant it ridiculously thickly. And we're going to see if some seeds will germinate because I'm pretty sure I've planted this multiple places and it hasn't germinated um, or like now I was blaming it on other things but I think maybe maybe uh, this seeds just been around a little too long um, so no point in saving it if it's deciding that it's time that it's past its prime <laughs> um, I'm just gonna throw lots of seeds. These seeds are really tiny. Um, so I'm just going to sprinkle them around just like sprink, move the soil a little bit and I cover them, pat them in. Um, and we're just going to see if this gives. All right. So either we're gonna get some seeds to germinate in this bed to have some arugula through the winter, or I just dumped out some seeds that weren't gonna germinate anyway. Um, arugula is really, really frost hardy. I've, um, I've harvested um, whole salads on like Christmas day or Christmas Eve before with no cover. Um, and we live in Western Pennsylvania. It's pretty cold here. Um, so there we go. Um, now one thing that I shot a video on and I just need to finish it. So here's the end to the video that I shot multiple weeks ago. Um, okay. Right here behind me, um, is our garlic bed. Here, let's sit here cause that color behind me is fantastic. Um, so that's my gar our garlic bread bed. Um, we harvest our garlic around mid-July in this area. Um, we plant usually a couple weeks before frost. I planted after frost this year because we had some frost in September. Um, so you will have just watched me talking about harvesting gar or planting the garlic, peeling the garlic, putting it in the ground. I always bring my husband out here to draw the put the rows in because he's very good at precise lines. Um, so we planted actually four kinds of garlic. Um, now unfortunately I'm finding there's a mole or vole trail that goes through here. I have some research to do. We need to reduce the population of moles and voles that are living in our property. So this is the, the garlic went in. Um, it's in this bed. Um, <laughs> there is the trail for, like I said, the mole or vole. I'm not sure which one. Um, I need to get this mulched really deep. We're actually going to be um, mowing and picking up our leaves this weekend. This is going to get covered in about a foot, foot and a half of leaf mulch. Um, in February, we'll take off a little bit. In March, we take off a little bit more. Right around then, um, the greens are going to start sticking up through that mulch. We just leave it be, harvest the scapes in usually beginning of June and then harvest the garlic sometime in July. Um, so that is our conclusion, planting garlic. It's a fantastic thing to plant. Um, it gives you a green bed to look at in the spring before you've really had time to get the garden. Um, it gives you an early harvest of the scapes that you can use in place of garlic. Usually when your garlic you've stored, if you've stored garlic has started going soft and sprouting. Um, and it's just a really fun thing to plant. It's easy to maintain, grows by itself, harvest, let it dry, throw it in the basement, and you're good to go. Or I think some people just hang it somewhere in their house because it looks pretty. 
All right, I hope to get more information out soon about other things we're doing, but thank you so much for joining us and we'll see you in the next video.